game, Srikanth was playing against this guy with similar rating. He starts with e4 and the opponent plays d6. Name of the opening? Oh, oh, I wrote Ra. Oh, I forgot. Hmm? <laughs> no? Sir, I played this so many times. The Pirk. It's called the Pirk. Sir, I mean. The Pirk. We will see. It's the Pirk most defense. Most the first one. And now, the most logical move for white is? d4. Yeah, that's what Srikanth plays it. You can sit up or you, you want to sit up? No, sir, fine then. Fine. Oh, sit Less people, so you can sit up or down. It's fine. Anyway, so d4, and now opponent challenges the sender with knight f6. Strigan defends it, or it's standard, normal, book, theory. Pawn g6. Slightly unusual, but he wants to keep the bishop on the okay, long the diagonal bishop. to challenge the sender later. And now Srikanth should play? So e5. No, you should not push Knight it. F yeah, three. so you know, why is e5 bad? Pawn takes pawn. Takes. Pawn takes pawn. Yeah, then queen takes, we can take. Uh, that is true, but more important than that, right now you're controlling all the four center squares. When you push them, you're losing control. So after pieces come out, it's good to push these center pawns forward. Right now it's too early. So he plays bishop f4. He's developing the queen side first, which is slightly unusual. So we're going to have anvil brain today. We have Vihan as well. So, Bishop to F4. You're going to be a hand today. So can I stay? Thank you, Vihan, our guest, for coming. Sir, can I, uh, <coughs> being Srikanth's team? No, no, Bill's team. You've been Srikanth's the most experienced player, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I've won the this. SKB championship. <laughs> but you just said, I've got this, I've got project, I don't get time to yes, play. Yes, sir. Who's the most okay. experienced? We'll see about that later. We can sit up or down, Vihan, oh, it's up to you. Who are equally experienced? Okay, yeah. So Everyone has played like one or two hand and brain games. So bishop to okay silence please bishop to f4. So Srikanth is developing the queen side more. This side is completely undeveloped. Who's developing so, more? The queen side pieces. I mean, uh, like uh, who's white? Srikanth is white. Black. Black. Some random opponent. Okay. Okay. So now opponent plays bishop to g7. Now Srikanth has to decide: Do I castle here by developing the queen, or do I bring out my knight? Do I have the time to bring out the knight? Does he have the time to bring out the knight and bishop there and castle shot? Yeah. Why not Kavish? What's the problem? You bring out the knight, you bring out the bishop, you castle. What's the problem? Will something happen? Nothing will happen. You, when you have the center, when you have the center, the position is good. Then you have the liberty to do things slowly or on different sides. So that's the advantage of having this. Sir, checkmate is about to happen. Sir, mm -hmm. Okay. So he plays bishop to c4. Srikanth is trying to make a painting, the dream position. See, control of the center. Bishops in the center, knights about to come out, castling. This is like the dream position you would want to Please. get out of the Isn't this like symmetrical after you pull out the knight? How is it symmetrical? Pawns are different, no? And bishop. No, I mean for white. Like, he means like. Oh, you mean left and right? Yeah, yes. left and right for white. Yeah, that is true. So, black castles. Basically, if it's symmetrical, then black can create uh, the same problem on both sides. How will you create the same problem with them? You'll need double the time to create problem on both sides. No, when you have a bad position, it's difficult to do things. And plus, when you have a good position. Symmetrical. There's king on the right side, queen okay. on the left side. Yeah, it won't be symmetrical. That's a good point. King will be on one side, yeah? So things will be different. So knight f3. This is the dream position that we learn at beginner level. Like when I teach you how to play the opening, this is what I show you. Develop pieces to the center, knights and bishops, control the center, castle. Srikanth has got a dream position out of this. Bishop to g4. Now opponent has to challenge the center. If he just sits and waits, white will castle, white will play e5. So he's sort of challenging the center with bishop g4. The knight's controlling the center. x3 is a good move because the bishop can't go back. Why, why can't the bishop go back? Yeah. Behind? So bishop, uh, I mean, pawn g5 and yeah, bishop is trapped. g4 and the bishop is trapped. So bishop has to take or go back. He takes. Kavish, of course, will take with. Queen. Anybody want to take with the pawn? Mm -hmm. It's actually okay. It's actually okay to take with the pawn as well because then you will castle long and use the g file to attack. Mm -hmm. Like h4, h5 and use the g file. But yeah, it's normal to take with the queen. The better option is the queen takes. Now opponent plays knight c6. Let me ask Praya, what will you play for white in this position? Uh, me? Yes, Praya. Okay. Huh. I remember what I played. Silence, please. When a person is thinking, no talking. Um, 
Sir, I'll castle long side. Okay, castling long. And what do you say, Sri Gan? What will you play if you get this position again? D5. Okay, you will play what you play in the game. You stick yeah. to your moves. Kavish, what will yeah, you play? D5. Okay, we have. D5. Okay, so then we need to discuss a few things here, guys. D5 is not a good move. That is not the right move here. You are losing control of key squares. This square specifically. Knight can come here. So then the bishop can... opens up. So with one move, you are losing control of the sender. You are helping his bishop and the knight. So d5 is not ideal. Controlling the sender is good. So better moves, rook d1 or castling. Castling will lead to complicated positions because kings will be on opposite sides. Then it's all about who gets the king first. You have to throw everything at his king, king side. He will throw everything at your queen side. So whoever gets attacked first loses. That's generally what happens when he castles long. So it will be a complicated game when kings castle opposite sides. So rook d1 is a safe move and the sender is intact. That's what I would do here. d5 happens, knight d4 happens. There is a fork, there is a threat. So the queen has to go to d1 or d3. He goes to d3, which is fine. Yeah. Now, <coughs> black has to defend this knight. How will black defend the knight? Pray. How will black defend the knight? Okay. Uh. <coughs> Sir, I'm checking. What of course, you can. It's good to think. When I see people think, uh, taking their time to answer, that's good. C5. I take. Oh. You're forgetting one person, huh? Don't forget the rule of chess. Yes, Srigan. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'll take. No, no, you forgot one person, so yes. now I'm passing to Srigan. Forgetting one person is a chess crime. Yes. Pawn to E5. E5, I take. Then uh, knight takes E6. Yeah. Same with C5. Uh -huh. Pawn takes, knight takes back is fine. In the game, black played knight E8, which is even better, I would say, because he's defending with the bishop. Opening up the bishop. Now Srigan really hates this knight, which is understandable. So he plays bishop e3. Good move. Now the knight has to be defended. Right? You gotta either place e5 or c5. So you play the chess crime of forgetting our person. Huh? I do the chess crime of forgetting our person. You do the what? Chess crime. Okay. okay. E5. The game, I think. <coughs> Defending. So what? But what? Uh, bishop takes. Right now it is. Trapped, I mean, yeah, he, that's he a good point. Move. You need this move. Huh. That's what he also thought. He went to a4. Not a good place for the knight though. If you wanted to do this, you could have just come to d1. Sir, good. there's a fork here, sir. Where? b5. Yeah. b5 is not a fork, it's a free pawn. There's a bishop and queen. So, a6 will come. Right? But you will get c3 first. So, still now it's complicated. It's not like a threat. Clearly, the threat is there, c3 traps a knight, but a6 will threaten b5. So, a4 was not ideal for the knight. And when you play c3, your knight will get trapped. <laughs> anyway, okay, so, <clears throat> opponent plays c6. Same idea, preparing b5. But now, yeah, if you take knight takes back, yeah, he plays c3, this happens, and now opponent plays, oh, he takes on d5. Ooh. Do we take with the pawn or with the bishop? Bihar. 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 How do we take back? <coughs> One second, let me hand decide. Bishop and prayer. So pawn. Pawn. Why pawn prayer? Sir, so because then you'll have an uh, exchange up. Exchange up? How will you have an exchange up? I mean, uh, like in kind of. Okay, you win so a piece, right? Huh. How is it exchange up? You're winning a knight, you're huh. saying. 
So you say Knight's still trapped after pawn takes. Is he right, Kavish? Is Prayer winning a piece after pawn takes pawn? Is the Knight still trapped? No. Because Knight will go to? F5. Exactly. You're forgetting that you have to move with the pieces. Your pawn moves, Knight goes to F5. So you're not trapping the Knight. So if you're not trapping the Knight, it's better to keep the pawn in the center itself. Sir, isn't he white's move? No. Black is, it, it is white's turn. Your bishop is angry. So there's no time to take here. He'll also take your bishop. So you either take here with the bishop or with the pawn. So in the game, he takes the pawn. So now the trap is no longer there. Opponent found a way to get out of it by playing c6. So it's no longer like great for Shriga. It's just equal. The knight goes to f5. Sorry, if you were taken with the bishop, the pawn, huh. then would have still been trapped. No, knight will go to c6. How is it still trapped? Oh. So the knight will get out. And now, if anything, black has more control of the center. And this Sir, bishop is good. Black is almost going to win a piece. How is he almost going to win a piece? What will you play as white? Castle. Then there is... Oh, oh shit, I forgot about b5. b5 is defended twice. So you need to play a6 and then... Okay. So now, hey. Shrigan plays bishop to b5. Shrigan is playing a risky game. Castle? Got a castle first. Before you move pieces again and again, first castle. That is uh, ignoring opening principles. And uh, right now, a6. Take, take. It just helps black position. Sir, you'll have to exchange the knight then. Otherwise, yeah, if you go back then b5 and uh, now he has to take the knight. He takes it. So now black is definitely better. Black has more development, more active pieces. Queen takes, attacking the knight. And the only move here is? b6. B oh, knight b6, huh? Yeah, I thought b3 has to be played, but yeah, knight b6 is also fine. Knight b6 is even more active. That. He plays that, activating the knight, attacking the rook. Rook has only two options, okay, three options, but this is kind of bad. So he goes to, oh, he plays e4 first. No problem, yeah, we just move the queen. Where? Where do we move? But how can we get a tempo? There's no way to attack anything. So we have to just think about where will it be good? Where will it be active? So C4. Exactly, C4, C4 looks good. Yeah, c4 looks like a good place because then we can go to c7. Black is yet to develop the rook and this rook is like stuck. So c7, c4 seems good. He went to e2, which is okay. Pawn protection for the king. So position I like white now because the knight is active. Rook is not able to come in. But he has to castle fast. If Srigan castles fast, he's fine. Rook b8 and he castles. So let's see what is the engine evaluation of this position. Engine says black is slightly better. I wouldn't have expected that actually. Engine really likes this bishop, I suppose. He likes this knight, but he likes the bishop more. And now engine wants you to play knight take, wants black to play knight take bishop. And the position is better for black, slightly better, minus one, point one for black. Minus point one. Minus one point one. So black is like half a, I mean, full pawn up, that much advantage. Anyway, he goes uh, knight h4. Now white's better. So these engine evaluations will change with every move. So practically, I like white's position even before. So knight h4, go into the corner. It's sort of, I understand what he's trying to do. He's trying to play f5. No, knight h5, sorry, knight h5. He's trying to play f5 and f4, which is a good try. Sir, good. Did yes. it, why is knight on h5? Oh, sorry, knight was on f5, yeah? It went to h4, my bad. Uh, so he's clearing the path for the pawn, but if he plays f5, the knight gets... No, knight doesn't get trapped. Can there? Yeah. Queen to right now, I can go back. I'd love to go back to f5. But yeah, queen g4 looks good. Shrigan brings the knight back. Threatening this. What should black do? Defend with the queen, defend with the rook, defend with the bishop, defend with the knight. What do you do? Sir, not with the bishop. Not with the bishop, okay. Under the queen, so I can win. Mm -hmm. What's the best way to defend? Under the queen, so I can win. Let's focus, Shrikan. That is what you need to improve on. Focus. <laughs> so many options. You gotta decide which is best. With the rook. With the rook. The rook wants to come to c8 now. Why would he put it in behind a pawn in a closed file? The rook loves to come to the open file. So you should defend with the queen. The best option is to defend with the queen. That's what opponent does. He plays queen e7. 
and now Srikant puts pressure. That's good. You like it, you know. When you put pressure on the opponent, it looks it looks active. The opponent is under pressure. Now he has to defend with the rook. He defends with the knight. Which is a slight mistake, I would say, because G4, G4. Exactly, Srigan has G4. It uh, kind of unlocks the position. If Srigan plays G4, he is getting D6, he has a passport and E4 is weak. And the bishop becomes too active. Actually, you win the pawn and more materials. It's not just a pawn, it's peace. Bishop takes pawn wins an exchange. You're winning an exchange with G4. So Srigan had to find G4, he found it. Good play. G4. Opponent doesn't save the knight. Because when he saves the knight, he wins a pawn and an exchange, which would have been the better option for black. But the opponent plays bishop e5. Maybe he did a basket? No, no. Why would you do it? He asked him to take the piece, but then came easily open. He just played bishop e5. So now what do you do? So bishop is bishop and then pawn takes knight. Huh, that makes sense. Takes, takes and takes. You will lose the pawn, but uh, that's good for you. He does that. No, sir, I can also get the e4 pawn back then. Huh. No, no if the queen takes, takes you can't. You will get the. Yeah, you will get back. No. He took with the pawn. If he takes the queen, the knight takes. The... This is 5.83. The opponent should have at least taken with the queen because. No, was... sir, the knight would have taken. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Queen can't take back. My bad. Sir, my bad. Sir, sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Think, so, pawn takes was forced, and it's sir, a plus six. Sorry, if I am playing, I would not blunder my queen like that, I hope. Anyway, so now, takes. Plus 6, 5.69 to be exact. Now, he played queen g5. Yeah, little bit of checks are okay. Your king will suffer a little bit. But just king h1 and that's it. And then you bring the... You can even play queen g4 here, right? That's what... No, he plays king h2. You gotta play queen g4. That shuts down that shop completely. And then he has no checks, nothing. We win the pawn back and we no, take. No, sir, because then they can also take the white pawn then. If we play it, that's true. Queen takes. Yep. Ah, that anyway he can take. But at least the queen should be exchanged. Okay, so he plays queen f4. Check. King comes to h1. <coughs> queen takes f5. What will you play here for white? Kavish. I'm asking Kavish, please keep your hands down. So queen g4. And Priya? Knight d6. Knight d6. And Srika? Queen g4. Okay. Priya is making the cardinal mistake of not seeing opponent's last move. That pawn is very important. You give one more pawn, then your king will be in trouble. I mean, still winning, but why give up the pawn? Queen g4. That's what Srikan plays. Good move. Opponent plays queen f3. Asking Srikan to take, which Srikan obliges. Takes. Takes. Yeah, it's completely winning. It's a piece of and you're getting all the pawns. Now open and place rook d8. What do we do here? We have. So do I win or lose? We'll see that. No, we right now on move 29. A right now. We'll, we'll see that, Srikan. In silence, please. Let me hand think. What will you play for white? So rook 2. Rook 2 d1 says we hand. Cow. F rook. F rook to d1. Okay. Then what's the plan for this guy then? See, when you decide which rook to move, you should of course have a plan for both rooks, na? not one rook. So this rook belongs here, this rook belongs here, simple. Or this rook belongs here if this is open. And this rook here or here. You got to think of both rooks, yes. Sir, so it's going to be a rook to d1. d1. Okay, anyone else? Praya? Rook to d1. So everybody wants to defend the pawn, which is the right decision. c4 is the best way to defend. You have a pass pawn, you want to help it forward. Na? So d d1 is also good, but Srikanth was in a hurry. You were in a hurry to take the pawn. That's not ideal. The pawn was yours. You can take it in your leisure time. You don't need to spend a move and a pawn to take that pawn. That was yours. So you had to defend your pawn with rook d1 or push. Yeah, but still winning. Opponent takes the d5 pawn. Srikant places rook to d1, which is good. Opponent moves his rook to f5. What do we do now? Rook to d5. 
Rook to D7, planting a piece. Uh huh. Not seeing opponent's last move. Who can tell me? Knight to D4. Knight to D4 is what Srikant played. There's a better move. Sir, King G2. Yeah, activate the king. It's an endgame. You gotta activate your king. King G2 is much better than moving the knight. He moves the knight, which is okay. Attacking the rook. The rook goes to H5. Now we have to move the king. King G2. Rook check. King goes to H2. No more checks. He goes to Sir, H5. Sir, wouldn't he have moved to uh -huh. uh, F3? F3 is a... Knight is there, no? Oh, you mean Knight F3? No, King F3. Then pawn Rook H5. Then it's still not time for the king to come out. I mean, somewhere useful G2 is good. F3 is a bit too much. I mean, Rook will again go back and attack the pawn. You'll have to defend with the Rook or King. No, anyway, no checks. Now checks are over. Now is a good time to activate your Rook, rook Striga. You got to play rook e1. Sir, I remember how I blundered this okay. game. So king g3 happened. Again rook check. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, this is risky stuff. I know. This is risky. Srigan is thinking it's an end game. I have to activate my king. But is this where the king wants to go? So one check and it's gone. Yeah, if. If, if this just... square is protected and this square is protected, then rook h5 is made. Yeah, but. Still okay, but got to be careful now. So like Black play, let's say. Boiling yeah, the king had to just come back to safety, but now Srigan is playing some weird moves. Safety he plays rook h1, making the rook inactive. Yes. Safety? As a, so safety yeah. As a yeah. Opponent takes a stand. He senses that Srigan is going in the wrong direction. So now let me try to activate my other rook. Made threat on so, the board. So one of the only moves is f3. F3, yeah. Rook e1. Rook yeah. g1. He plays rook e1. Ah, rook g1 is also fine. That's actually better. Rook e1 is much better. Rook e1 is best, no? Rook h5, check. Mm. Oberon is forcing the king to come back, but Srigan refuses. He stays so active. I rook e1 with the h1. Mm. Huh, yeah. So king safety is the problem here that Srigan is not understanding the king needs to be here still even though it's an end game but yeah rook g5 check again open is trying everything to make that king go back srigan is not going back the king comes to f3 so where back huh? back here i mean you can come back now but okay opponent plays rook d8 i think i learned it now i'm not sure i learned it now. We'll, we'll see rook to e7 position is still great king is now back to where he's safe the danger has passed. King is fine then. F5 is not possible. Knight is covering it. It's all good. No, I think I'm and the knight is perfectly good here. Sir, I was about to eat uh, when I opened my mouth and suddenly he was about to go in it. What? Uh, that housewife. Oh my god. Okay. Ah, okay. So, one thing we should never do is move this knight. This knight is perfect. Remove it's, it? It's uh, protected. Yeah? Remove it. Let's see. He plays rook e1. Perfect. See, he's doing all the good things. You see? The knight is protected. He's covering the check. Everything is great. Opponent plays b4. Oh, wait. Opponent has played b5 before. Sorry, I missed that. I played two moves for white. Opponent plays b5, b4 now. And now Srinam plays another good move. Rook e8. Good, right? Exchanging the rook. I would have kept the rook here. And then no, double rook. Know. Double rook and then boom. Right? That would have been much better. But okay, he exchanging is also good. Takes. Takes. King goes to G7. I I lost. And now, what do we do? How do we win with an extra piece? By taking all the rook E7. Yeah. So, rook E7. Rook E7. I would have put rook and now we can threat knight Yeah, that's what he did. Threatening 96, but it's a, it's a, you're announcing it almost. So black will move the king or the rook. Oh, black played pawn takes pawn, giving Srikan the golden rook. Oh, it's still not completely winning here. Yeah? Knight moves, king moves. Knight takes, king takes. It's still not a winning advantage. Srikan goes for it. He goes for it. King f6. What's the evaluation now? What do you think of this position? So, it's so plus a big one, blunder plus two. Is it winning for white or black? Black. Sure? I remember I blundered this. The source? 
Sure. Huh? Yeah. Black spinning. Yeah. Oh wait. How is black spinning? Why do you say black spinning? Sir, how is it spinning, sir? No, he's saying black spinning. He, oh yeah, he wants me to go to meet. He's going to. Why don't you take it then? Huh? You take it if it's going to promote. Why do you have to let it promote? Hmm. So you are a good piece. Is it? It's black stone. Why? It, oh wait, it's black stone. Yeah, it's no black has just taken the rook. Oh shit! We, we took this rook. He took the rook. Now, what should black do here? And is it winning for black or white? Let's take. Yeah. It's white's turn. Yeah. See, white has just white took the rook, right? Yeah. King and took this rook. And, and it's white's turn. turn. Yeah, it's white's turn. Oh, sir, 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 sir. Hmm. White is still winning. White is still winning by playing what? Uh, knight e four. Surprise, surprise. C two. I'm not going to take the pawn. He, you good calculation. He saw knight e4, pawn takes knight d2, and the knight stops the pawn. Oh, nice but after knight e4, c2, and it's gone. You can't stop the pawn. So there is no way to keep the knight. That's what we have to understand here. So basically, you got to play pawn takes pawn. This, uh, yeah. And is it winning for white or black? It's, it's, it's winning for white. Why you, do you say winning for white? So we are more about. Pawns. No, what? It's How are you up more pawns? Oh, it's equal. It's equal pawns. No, but but white yeah. king is more active. King is more active. Yeah. No, we have two pawns. We have a pass pawn. Ah, we have a pass pawn. Good point. Pawns are equal. Four pawns no, each. No, he has three pawns. He can go there. No, yeah, he can. Pawns. He has to create a pass pawn, but he has, he'll have double. No, the two double pawns are pawn. there to defend. Ah, so and it's pawns. doubled pawns when he takes. Uh -huh. So white is still winning if you take the pawn. And so we have to realize the danger so here. But I didn't. But you didn't. You played king e2 and that's gone. Because pawn takes pawn. I expected pawn c2. And after pawn takes pawn. I was like, oh, he realized he blundered. It yeah. was a draw, it was a tragic end. How he lost now? Why would he draw here? Why would open and after to draw here? It's gone. Blacks want to promote, right? So Srikant resigned here. It was close. Srikant. Yeah. It's very close, right? He thought he was winning after 96 and he played it. But after playing it, you realize. The guy has taken on c3 first, so and king f6 gets back the rook. So we are not winning anything and we are actually in trouble. But yeah, there I think you have to stop a little bit more to calculate if you had the time. But yeah, good game. Uh, most of the